Pat from Dead Things was on the Shadow of Palms chat on Thursday night. And I'd just like to say thank you to Walter for hosting the chat. We had a lot of laughs. Um, you know, the one thing I've said before is that I'm really the only guy who builds props like this around here. And so it's nice to be able to uh, to talk to like-minded people. And uh, and yeah, we had we had a lot of fun. Uh, Halloweenville was building his uh, giant man-eating plant. It's looking excellent. Uh, of course, everybody was chipping in on how to uh, how he should stage it. Um, and then Steve from Yard Haunter Five, and he's got a new channel. I believe it's Steve's Haunted Yard, which is going to focus only on prop building. He was doing his latex appliance. And that's looking really interesting to me. I'm uh, looking forward to start working on something like that. I have some uh, some ideas of how we can use it with uh, with some of uh, my actors. So, um, the one thing that was brought up in the chat was by uh, Dionysia Twelve, uh, Christy, and Hallstaff, Steve, um, was the. Um, Mini Maestro by Palalu. Now, if you are not familiar with the Mini Maestro or the Micro Maestro, what it is is it's a servo controller. And um, they were wondering how to program it. Now, you can program this using code, but there is also a simpler way to do it, and that's what I used. I did not use code um, in my programming. Um, although I did look at some of the cr code because you can convert it over uh, or see what it is that you've done in code and uh, it does look kind of similar to pickaxe I think that they're based on the same type of code but um, it's just the uh, I, I think it's the way that the arguments as they call them are set up it's differently so just to show you um, what I did this is the inner workings of Aggie Weirding, uh, my uh, my animatronic witch. So this is uh, the the probably a pretty common um, setup when you're dealing with the uh, three axis skulls. Mine isn't a skull per se, but three axis mechanism. So three servos, one for nod, one for pan, and one for tilt. This servo here is for the jaw and underneath that there is the Palalu. So just to run it. Now this with the programming that I did I actually ran five servos off of my Micro Maestro and with those the programming for it it ended up being just a little over three minutes of movement before it would repeat itself which is quite a bit um, you know person would have to be standing there actually really studying the uh, the movements to be able to see a, a repeat in the patterns so uh, was very very happy with the results from this so that is the micro maestro by Palalu uh, it is their smallest of the uh, of their uh, circuitries, and you can see that is beside a uh, Canadian nickel, which is very similar in size to an American nickel. You can see our beaver on there. We do love our beaver up here in Canada. So, just to show you what how this is set up, real quickly, this is power in. Then this will power the servos here and power the board itself as well then there's one two three four five six servos and they're actually um, numbered zero through five then over here and I'm just gonna flip this over put on my glasses um, reset TX, which is transmit, RX, which is receive, voltage in and ground, and then voltage plus 5 voltage out and ground over on this side. And it also has uh, some holes drilled in it for standoff. I have not been able to get the 
RX running, um, mainly because I don't know what code it is to uh, command it. Um, and I, I'm going to actually try using the code that we used on the tender board. Maybe that's how I went online to the Palalu forum and uh, and said, could I get a pickaxe to control this? And they said yes, but then never gave me the code on how to do it. And since I'm not really a computer guy, I don't know what those codes are. So.